Up. If you are a Barbie fan, then your dreams of living in a Barbie world, well, they may finally be coming <laughs> true. A new cafe spot has opened up at South Street Seaport in Lower Manhattan, and PIX 11's Kieran Dillon is there this mm -hmm. morning to get a first look at this new place. Nice. Oh my gosh, well, look at that cute little doll. Nice, Kieran. Hey there, Kieran. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. I'm, no, I'm not supposed to be smiling, right? I'm here in this amazing Mar Malibu Barbie Cafe, though, so I have to uh, is smile, right, and be excited because this place, look at it. It is amazing. It is like you have just stepped into Barbie Wonderland. We are here in Lower Manhattan for this pop-up. This cafe opens in an hour at 10 o'clock, and it's basically in an immersive, experiential restaurant where you can come down and basically learn all things Barbie, and have some fun, have some great food, uh, really enjoy Barbie. I'm sure a lot of us have that nostalgic feeling connected to it. With more on that, I want to bring in Derek Berry, who is uh, with Bucket, Bucket Listers. Yes, yep, with you're the head of experiences there. So yes. tell us about this cafe. What inspired it? Obviously, Bob Barbie inspired it, but why did you want to do it here? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, Bucket Listers does all kinds of fun experiences and pop-ups, and we've always kind of gravitated towards adult ones, and we want to do something for families, and what better than Malibu yeah. Barbie, yeah. and doing it in, like you said, Lower Manhattan, transforming people out of there and taking them to Malibu with this experience, and it just, it lined up perfectly. Amazing, and this is, you know, you're gonna have another one in Chicago, but it's not happening all across the country. It's here in Manhattan, and that's why we live here, the right? The flagship one, yep. right here, right? yes. So it opens today at 10 o'clock, yeah. and then it goes uh, until September 15th. Yes. So tell us, what can people expect when they come here, about the food and about the experience? Yeah, so it's an all things ode to Barbie. There's a tons of, you saw, like the big Barbie box, and the sandbox, and all these fun Instagrammable moments. But then the beautiful tie-in is there's a full menu. We've got um, all things pink, pink hummus and beachside burger and a parfait. And, you know, they're just gorgeous. They look great. And Chef Becky did so good. We wanted the experience to not just look good, but taste good, right? Hit all five senses, have a good time. And we just want people to come in here for 90 minutes and just have a ball. Totally. So for people, I mean, nostalgia, I mentioned nostalgia, but it's not just nostalgia, right? It's for people from young age right now currently yeah that you know girls boys everybody really um loves yeah. there's so many people that love barbie why is that and what do you think it would mean to them to be here at this cafe i think you know that's great so barbie is represents everybody right it's it's just you know it's so in, it's just an inclusive just uh brand and it's just so i think you can come in you can be a barbie you can be a ken but the thing about this is it's special because it really from the time you walk in, it's pink. Like you said, how can you not smile, right? Yeah, so we want people totally. to come in here and just have a great time with it. And the difference of you know a lot of other experiences, this actually comes with a meal. When you pay for that ticket, you're getting to choose a main entree and a side and that 90 minutes of running around. Amazing, amazing, you guys. Okay, so he mentioned the food. Uh, tickets are $44 for an adult, 22 for a child. You can go online. That's pop-up opens today at 10 o'clock. Uh, you do have to buy tickets in advance, though. They don't do drop-ins right now. It goes till September 15th. Coming up at 10 o'clock, I get to spend more time here and I'm gonna try some of the food send it back to you oh so many great memories yes come back by her being there today I and mean, I had the Barbie dream house oh yeah it was not furnished okay so I used things like I'm not kidding I used things like uh, tissue boxes to mm -hmm. make the bed I mean just but Creativity. I, I yeah but one thing I do love about Barbie now is how inclusive yes. and diverse it is yeah because a lot of the Barbies that I didn't that I saw growing up didn't look anything like me yeah. but now Everyone. There's so many. We just did story the yeah. other day that they have a Down syndrome Barbie, which is mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible.